Well, let's take a look at this. This is easy stuff, but I figured I'd go over it with anyway. Here's a squad car. You got a red and blue light here. Here's Darth Vader. You got a red and blue light here. Why? Because they represent the same thing. So does this, so does this, and so does this. Okay? Here you have the law, and here you have this guy's law. The red and the blue, I told you, are these two pillars. Okay? One's, what, this one would be blue, this one would be red. Don't worry about these other colors. This one would be blue, this one would be red. They're always opposed to each other, just like they are here, just like they are here. Now, let's take Darth Vader. He's got black and white, just like the squad car. He's got red and blue, just like the squad car. But he's wearing a Nazi helmet. He's wearing Saturnalian black. And he's speaking through the Masonic Triangle. The Death Star is this star, the Dark Star, Saturn. Here's the cube that represents all of this. See? Represents all of this. Are you starting to get this now, what this thing is? We're stuck on this side. That's why it's dark. That's why it's this dude. I guess if we were on this side, this guy would be wearing white, and you'd see a little sparkle where his teeth are at. Okay? This guy's got a triangle. Don't you? Are you starting to get this now? It's the same story over and over and over and over again. Also, I'd like to say it's pretty neat how they put Saturn in purple. Okay? Red and blue are the two pillars. It's always, they're always offset from each other because one is positive and one is negative. This center pillar, which should be this one right here, is broke. We're right here. The creator's way up here. Here's Saturn. Okay? That's the negative side. We're stuck in this loop right here. Okay? We're not attached to none of this bullshit over here. And I really shouldn't call it bullshit because in reality that's really where we should be. But both of these should be hooked up. But this line that you see right here that's faint, that piece is broken. That's what's keeping this whole thing from being out of whack. And by the way, this is a hexagon. It's one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay? It's the same thing as this. It's this cube. And there's your little yellow sun in the center. And there it is right there. But it represents this guy right here. Do you understand? You get it? This guy here. Oh, and my favorite part of the whole movie is when Darth Vader tells Luke Skywalker, which would be representing man or the Christian or the other religious sects, uh, I'm your father. In other words, I'm the dude that you've been praying to. You better get that through your head because that's vaguely important. Okay? And if you remember the movie, you can go look it up on YouTube what his reaction is. Because that's going to be everybody's reaction that doesn't understand who's being talked about in the religions. It's not the guy way up here at the top. It's this guy over here. The lawgiver. The lawgiver is Saturn. It's this guy. That's why he's called the Sharif. Because the Sharif is the lawgiver. Okay? Lots to learn here. And you're going to have to do it on your own because I'm getting the hell off of YouTube, but I'll keep on working this until I leave. You're going to understand when you watch TV, you'll see a guy with a blue shirt and a guy opposite him with a red shirt. Or, or he'll be wearing a red shirt with blue pants. You'll see these over and over and over and over again.